morning. Uh, welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. This is episode 340, and we're here in my studio this morning. I uh, have a few things going on that uh, restricted me time-wise to be on time, as well as location. I have construction workers coming to fix the roof on my lanai, which has been leaking since before I came in. And so they want to be here by 8 o'clock, which means the beach didn't work. I had to remove everything off of the lanai in order for them, my porch, in order for them to be able to demolish it today to then rebuild it tomorrow or whatever they're going to do. And so couldn't do it on the lanai either. And so we're here in my studio this morning. If you're joining me live, please say hello and let me know if you're crafting this morning or if you have questions for me. I can't, in order for the camera to be far enough away for you to see the stuff I'm going to show you this morning, I can't see the comments very well. So I apologize if I miss your comments or I don't see your name to say hello, but I am grateful for all of you. Ah, I should put my microphone on, shouldn't I? I'm grateful that all of you are here. I think I saw Karen, Brenda, Frieza Bean, Joe. Brenda, thanks for joining live, everybody. I'm so glad you could be here. Uh, good morning, Jane. I thought it might be fun to do a little recap of everything available so far for the layers books. We have five patterns published so far for both the knit and crochet books, so 10 patterns total so far. Uh, good morning, Melissa. Yes, happy Valentine's to anybody who is celebrating today. I don't know if that's a U.S. holiday or an international holiday. If anybody uh, knows, let me know. If I can read it, I will. <laughs> uh, thanks, Lily. Hi, Judy. Thanks for joining live. Hi, Joe. Hi, Sanchelle. Yes, happy Valentine's Day to anybody who is celebrating. If you're not celebrating, that's fine too. Just happy wishes to everybody. <laughs> All right, so I thought it might be fun to do a recap of everything available so far for each of the Layers books. As you know, we have two new books coming out, Layers Crochet and Layers Knit, and each one is being um, introduced as a pre-order ebook as well as single pattern downloads, so you can order any way you like. If you order the pre-order Layers Crochet or Layers Knit eBooks, you get it at a reduced price while it's in pre-order sta state. And also, you will get a coupon code for the paperback version when it comes out, if you ordered in uh, pre-order. Otherwise, no problem. If you want to wait to see all the projects when they come out, which some people do, and that's fine, you'll just be paying the full retail price of each one then but some people like to see all the projects first before making that decision and I fully respect that as well so however you want whether you want to be surprised every week or you want to make a decision based on everything or you just want to order individual patterns that appeal to you and not the whole book it doesn't matter any way you are interested they're available I'm also doing videos each week of each project to give you some tips and tricks to help you along with the written patterns and charts and tutorials and all that stuff. And I'm always available to answer questions, as you know, whether it's uh, me personally through email or through my community in the Create, Share, Inspire Facebook group. There's a lot of people there that are uh, able and willing, enthusiastic for helping others and encouraging others as well. So without further ado, let's go through the project so far. Um, now we'll really see if I can uh, remember the names. <laughs> I'm already at a lot. This is the Selena Ruana. This is the most recent uh, project. And you may remember two days ago, I showed you how to lace up the size with ties to make it into a vest. And I thought it might be fun to show this stuff in the studio where I can back up enough standing so you can really see the full beauty of the way these projects drape on the body. I could wear this every day, you guys. I have on a simple tank top underneath that I have just um, tucked in right under my belly button so you can see a little bit of my belt exposed and the rest of it is untucked mostly and wearing it in a contrast color to the Ruana, using one of those butterfly clips that I found on Amazon. You can find them as well in my Amazon shop. And I feel totally put together for the day in this. 
show you some other piece. So this is the Selena Ruana, and this uses Be So Bear yarn, which is number two sport weight. So keep in mind, if you want this in any of my beautiful hand dyed colors, you can substitute any of my number two sport weight yarns for this. So it would either be Be So Bear, or you could wear, uh, make this in Be So Sporty, Be So Serene, Be So Soulful. Maybe that's it. If something else comes to me, I'll let you know. <laughs> you could also substitute number one fingering yarns and get a lighter look, as long as you paid attention to the gauge a little bit. So you could do it in Be So Fine, Be So Lush, and Be So Toasty as well. All right, and this is the latest knit pattern. Boy, this name's escaping me now. This one is a vest also. Super, super easy to make. Let's see, I did bring, I print off the patterns for myself for when I'm doing the video tutorials. Let's see if it's in this pile. Yeah, it's the Amelia. This is the Amelia Knit Lace Vest made with two rectangles, two simple rectangles and a super simple and gorgeous lace stitch pattern. And look how beautifully it pops over a contrast color underneath. I mean, it's pretty over skin tone as well. And I thought it would be fun to show you the differences between how it looks next to skin tone as well as how it looks next to a contrast color. Now, when my arms are down, kind of looks like a poncho, kind of looks like a vest. And then when you lift your arms up, you can see it really does look more like a poncho than a vest. But because of those great armholes, you have full mobility with your arms. I absolutely love this type of uh, layering piece. You also have that laced up tie here, which pulls it all together. If you wanted to take this out, you could also style this in other ways. You could skip that and do a butterfly clip instead, or you could leave it open, or you could use this kind of a tie to belt it. And that's really what I wanted to show you with this piece. Remember how at the beach the other day I showed you how to belt the Selena Ruana by finding a natural waist position in here? Well, we can do that same thing with this one. You want to find some spot around your natural waist. I'm going to secure this for a second just while I'm working here. This would be easier to do if it wasn't on your body, but I'm trying to do a live demo. So you wouldn't want to make it this complicated. You could set it down on your bed, on a table. You could put it on a dress form first, but I'm going to try to find a natural waist position front and back on the left and then front and back on the right and hope that this tie is long enough. I, you'll still get an idea of what I'm talking about, even if the tie isn't necessarily long enough to tie around my belly. It's gonna be close. You would want a longer tie for doing a belt, but you will definitely get the point. How cute is that? And in fact, somebody was asking me the other day if I thought that these types of pieces were good for plus size people. One of the reasons why um, I added so many different sizes to these projects when applicable and, um, and showed so many different ways to style them is because my weight yo-yos all the time. I can be anything from a six to a 16 in my five foot nine stature. And it's, I know what works for my body at those different sizes. And when someone asks me about plus size help, I'm so happy to help because I know how things fluctuate and how things can be different in different sizes. And one of my favorite things to do for more of a plus size look is to create this illusion of a waist. I find that this is a, especially in thinner fabrics, this is a wonderful way to um, accentuate curves without showing all of your curves, if that makes sense. This is one of my favorite plus size styling tips is to do this faux waistband with flowy sleeves. I feel like the contrast between seeing a cinched waist and a flowy sleeve is actually extremely flattering on all sizes. I think it's good for not just plus size, but everybody. But I know that sometimes plus size, the, the plus size questions are totally valid. And um, this happens to be something that works for all sizes. And look at how I transform this. I mean, the sleeves actually look totally different. In fact, the whole silhouette looks different. Now, again, remember, I made this tie long enough to do that corset tying. You would want to make this tie longer in order to do a belt. But what, another two feet? No big deal. And I'll turn around so you can see the back. 
Totally cool. I love this. I think I actually prefer it belted. But not belted on the outside, belted on the inside. I'm belting it in here to create the illusion of a flowy sleeve and a cinched waist. Hopefully that translates well to camera. And just so you know, I cannot read the, uh, the comments very well today, so I'm not ignoring anybody. If your question is important to you, please feel welcome to leave them for me in the recorded version of the podcast because I'll go back and answer them as best as I can then. I'll show you how we do the corset tying as well. So on something that's super lacy like this, it's pretty easy. Find a repeating spot of open lace and just be consistent. So wherever you find it, you wanna make sure that your fronts are evenly placed on your body. And again, this would be easier on the bed, laying flat on the bed or on a table, but I'm gonna to try to do it in the live demo. And you wanna get it through both sides. I'm gonna go down through this side and then up through this side. You want them to be symmetrical. And now at this point, it's like lacing a shoelace. So you're gonna cross over, and I'm gonna skip one hole, skip two holes and go to the third. I may have done it differently last time, but I'm just winging it at the moment. We're gonna skip the next two holes and go through the third. And you notice I'm coming up through the bottom on these. But if you notice, this is exactly like you would lace shoelaces. And at this point, I'm gonna adjust to make sure that they're even. I really like my ties to be even and I pulled the wrong way. So we'll try that again. Okay, they look pretty even. So we'll cross over, count down three and come up through the back. We'll go to this side, count down three and come up through the back. And you'll see we've got that beautiful corset lacing. You could go down as far as you want. I don't, I don't know how far I went down last time. We'll try one more and see if we like that. And it may be different on you. You could do one tie, two ties, three ties. You could tie, lace it all the way down. There we go, I like that. So you can see even with something like this piece, you could change up the way you style that in a number of different ways too. And being so drapey, if you laid this out flat, it would still make a gorgeous cowl or scarf wrapped around your neck as well. And if you have questions about it, please feel welcome to leave them for me in the recorded comments because I'm not able to see the camera that well this morning. Uh, and that's the Amelia Knit Lay Shrug. So this one would be available in Layers Knit eBook or available as a single download. And the uh, Selena Ruana, this is available as part of the Layers Crochet eBook or, or or as an, a, an individual download. I forgot to mention this one is done in Be So Soulful sock yarn, and that's a number two sport weight. So again, this would be something you could make in that yarn, or you could do, you could substitute any of my number two sport weight yarns for this. And this one's hand dyed in colorway pink coral. All right, next up, what do we have here? Oh, we've got the Leah Capelet. This one is crocheted in Be So Fine, thing, number one fingering weight yarn, and this is colorway sangria, which has really beautiful purples and tangerines and hot pinks and red. And it is a half circle shawlette with some corset tying to create a fitted capelet. If you didn't want it to have this on here, you could still wear it as a half circle shawl, but I just love how put together it is once you lace up the front. If you didn't want to lace it, you could also use a shawl pin or a butterfly clip or something like that, but I'm a sucker for this lacing. I just love the way it looks, and it keeps it all yarn too. So this one, what is this one called? Leah, yeah, this is the Leah Capelet. It's a crochet pattern. You can find it for Layers Crochet eBook and or as an individual download. Pattern comes with charts, line by line instructions, and most of these have the video tutorials already. Here's the lace up close too. And then here is the Tasha Knit Lace Shawl. This one's also done in Be So Fine yarn. 
and this is a knit pattern. It has a top-down construction starting right here at the top. And if you watch the video tutorial, I have a really awesome tutorial on this one for how you start that selvage edge and then pick up around the selvage edge to begin the shawl and do a top-down. I also show you how to add beads to this project at the end of the video. I think adding beads to that Pico lace bind-off would be absolutely exquisite. And I do sound, sell beautiful crystal beads in my shop. If you're interested, you can find that information on the video and on the shawl pages. This is Colorway Chris, one of the colors I dyed inspired by the Charlie's Angels TV show from the 70s, my favorite TV show of all time. And this is a little more than a half circle shawl. This is called a Faroese shaped shawl. And what that means is that there is extra shaping within the two side triangles in this midsection. And what that does is give you a little bit of contour for your shoulders. So whereas a half, a, a triangular shawl doesn't always sit on your shoulders very well, it really is important to pin it and tie it and whatever. But because of that shaping through the shoulder section, which is that half point in the triangles, it actually sits on your shoulders. And look at this. This is a little more than a, a, little more than a triangle and it sits on your shoulders because of that extra shaping. And how gorgeous is the lace? Feather and Fan is one of my favorite lace stitch patterns, so to do it in a couple of different ways in this I thought was so fun. Again, that's Be So Fine Yarn, and this is called the Tasha Knit Lace Shawl. And you can still style it in a number of ways too, not just sitting on your shoulders like that. I, one of my favorites is an offset tie so you can see a diagonal line of that beautiful lace edging. It's so fun. All right, what's next? We've got two hats. This is the Bryce crochet hat and what was the knit one called? And the Gia knit hat and I think these are so gorgeous. I held two yarns together for these. This one is Be So Brave in color Picket Fence with silver Be So Dazzling yarn and this the knit one is Be So Brave number four worsted weight yarn and picket fence with gold Be So Dazzling yarn held with it. And look at how different the gold sequence and the silver sequence change the color of the hats. Now these sequins sparkle like magic in sunlight and you can even see it in these uh, lights here. The day that I showed these at the beach was very overcast so you didn't get to see how shimmery the sequins are in these. But imagine walking down the street with one of these on. I mean, just gorgeous, right? And I used a, a, an ex especially thick stitch pattern for both of the hats to keep them nice and toasty warm. You can find each of these patterns on my website or they're each included in the layers books respectively. The Bryce crochet hat is in the layers crochet book and the Gia knit hat is in the layers knit book. Then next we have, and the video, oh, the videos are not done on those yet. They would be coming soon. So the next step is the Brianna crochet cowl and the Zoe knit cowl. And these are done in Be So Brave yarn that I hand dyed in a gradient. So this is a one ball project that changes color one time in the project. Isn't that gorgeous? And the videos are available for these. The patterns are available individually or in the layers ebooks. This is the crochet one and it has a beautiful offset star pattern in a body of double crochet. And in the video tutorial, I show you a really awesome tip for doing foundation double crochet, which eliminates the chain at the beginning of the project and how to join foundation double crochet in the round. A really great tip to use for any project, not just this cowl. And this is the Zoe knit cowl, which also has a beautiful offset pattern. And this is done in one ball of Be So Brave gradient yarn. Let's see, what else? I think we have two more projects to show. I think we're going to, we're up to the, uh, let's see if I'm going to look close at the camera for a second and see if there's any quick questions for me. If not, I'll start trying on the shrugs. 
Other than the shawls and the hats and the cowls, any of the bigger pieces are all sized in multiple sizes, either four or five sizes. We have a really large size range in most of the projects for both of these books. So if you're curious about it, please take a look at the pattern pages and you will see how many different sizes we've made all of these patterns in. I'm really excited about that. Uh, hi, Jill. Thanks for joining. Got to see another name. Hi, Grace. I don't remember if I said hi to you yet. All right, this is the Jillian Shrug. This is a beautiful crochet shrug made in Be So Tender yarn color uh, Lagoon. Be So Tender is my num a number four worsted weight yarn. So if you wanted to change this, substituting another number four worsted weight yarn would work fine. I, you could use Be So Brave, Be So Cozy, Be So Bold, or Be So Tender Yarn. And you can see how cute this looks. This is the smallest size. I feel like I'm somewhere between the small and the medium. I think I could have gone either way, but I do like wearing this size. I like to wear my things a little on the tighter side but it's your personal preference, what works for you. So this is the Jillian, and this comes in a bunch of sizes. So you wanna take a look at that, adjust your yardage accordingly, of course, but also pay attention to the sizes, because, I mean, we can fit a whole lot of people with this beautiful project. And layers are such a great way to um, dress up anybody's wardrobe. I feel like it's so flattering to have those different lines and those different amounts of fluidity. So like wearing a flowy tank top underneath a fitted shrug, I think is such an attractive look. This is the Desna shrug. This is a knit pattern. Beautiful shrug. It's a really cool stitch pattern that looks kind of crochet, but it's all knit. And it's an offset, it's an offset Wo woven looking project and it involves a left twist and a right twist stitch and if you watch the video I teach you all about how to make these stitches and you'll see how much easier they really are to do than you may realize so if you've only done a knit and purl or a yarn over before and you watch the video you could probably handle this too you can see how pretty this is this is be so tender yarn in color seafoam all right that's all the projects so far. So I've got a few more coming this week and lots more coming soon. I've got everything lined up on the dress form next to me right now. Uh, slightly tempted to show you, but uh, also loving the surprise and loving how much you all have enjoyed the um, anticipation so far. So this has been fun. Uh, I'm going to put the Selena Ruana back on. And where's my butterfly clip? There it is. Okay, I'm gonna line up the fronts. Add my clip. And I'm ready to go about my day. So whenever, I probably won't do any videos today because I have a feeling the construction guys are gonna be quite uh, loud so i will be working on dyeing yarn today and i'll be working on shipping orders and i will be working on editing the new patterns for layers knit and layers crochet ebooks let's see try to come a little closer and see if i can read anything does anybody have any questions i'm going to try to read the comments now for a few minutes Or if anybody has a request to see something up close, I could pull something closer to the camera. What type of projects are next? Let's see. Ooh, I have a wrap with a very interesting closure coming next. I have, what's the other one in that one? Oh, I have, and I have projects that I'm going to probably be taking on my trip next month. And uh, those two projects are, one's Be So Lush, one's Be So Sporty. And then the other two, what else is coming next? Oh, I have a vest coming. And what's the other one? 
Oh, a two vests. So I have two vests, a wrap with a very unusual closure, and uh, a top. One's be so sporty, one's be so lush, another one's be so sporty, and another one's be so fine. And those are the four that I'm working on right now. So hopefully they will be out soon. Uh, Stacy wants to see the peach shawl again. Sure. When will the baby patterns be available? Not until after layers, both layers books are completed. Um, halfway done with the back of the Rwanda. Oh, good for you. The name of this one is the Tasha Knit Lay Shawl. I think my pattern is distracting it. Let's see if I can move to the side. You can see, oh, I can put it in front of this. You can probably see it better. Is that better? You know, I love layering pieces so much. I'm seeing that some people are saying they like the shawls better and some people are saying they like the vests better. Uh, I think they're all fun and I love variety. And hopefully some of you will get the pieces that you want and maybe even some of you will discover that you like other pieces that you didn't realize you liked before. Like if you're only a shawl person, maybe you'll find a vest or an unstructured layering piece that you've never tried before. Or maybe you've only made vests and you want to try a shawl. So hopefully um, you can try something new. Maybe some of the videos will help you see that the stitch patterns aren't as difficult or as intimidating as they may appear in the styled photos. Hopefully we can just inspire each other and find lots of different ways to add more layers and more fashion and more yarn styling into our lives. So that's my goal with both of the layers books and so far it looks like lots of people are enjoying them and I'm really glad about that. Yeah, DJ likes trying different types of projects too. Wonderful. I'm so glad. That's what's fun about a variety project book is that you'll get a little taste of different types of styled pieces and uh, it's a good variety. Oh, thanks, Kimberly. I, there's nothing that makes me happier than to hear people say that my patterns um, are easy to make and enjoyable to make. You know, I could make them as hard as I as hard as possible, but I don't feel like that brings any joy to anybody. I want things to be easier than they look, not harder than they look. There's just something to me about not trying to push the envelope in skill. I would rather try to. I don't want to be considered the designer that makes the most experienced patterns. I want to be the designer that's remembered as making things deceptively simple. <laughs> so that's always the challenge when I design is to try to make things look fancy and look different, but still be simple and joyful to make. So that's always my goal. Thanks, DJ. See, lots of people are happy and that makes me happy. Yeah, easy and fun's good, Joe. Life's too hard, life's too complicated. We want things to be easy and simple when we have a choice, right? I agree. And we wanna look good. <laughs> so making things that look good on us and on us when we change size or when we change age. I mean, I don't know about you, but I feel like my fashion style and my point of view in fashion changes with my mood, changes with my weight, and changes with my age too. So um, finding flexible pieces that can be styled in different ways really helps me to feel better about myself on days when I don't feel so great about myself too. Thanks, Kimberly. All right, well, I think we're gonna end this pretty soon. I'd like to be ready for them when they show up at my door. Uh, you're welcome, Jill. I'm so happy everybody's here. Thanks for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed a little fashion show on the pieces we've made so far for Layers Crochet and Layers Knit. There's lots more to come. I'm so excited to share all of it with you. If you enjoy the Create, Share, Inspire podcast, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to please leave comments in the recorded version. I reply to those throughout the day, so if I've missed any question or you have a question for me, please feel welcome to leave them there. If you enjoy my channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the bell button if you'd like to be notified every time I go live. I'm so happy to have all of you here. 
Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I gotta walk around now. I'm too far. <laughs>